Hello everybody, Taylor Johnson here. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the uh, real estate market for the DC region in November 2023. Uh, certainly mortgage, higher mortgage rates have had an effect. Uh, mortgages actually hit a 23 year high in November, uh, but for uh, some time, uh, you know, they have been dropping and um, we see with each drop, uh, more buyers coming into the market. <clears throat> we also see with each drop more sellers coming into the market as the gap between what the mortgage rate the uh, sellers are currently paying and what they would have to pay with the new property gets smaller and smaller. Uh, and this is a good thing because our inventory is actually very, very low. Um, <clears throat> It has actually dropped year over year for the last six months, while prices have gone up um, for 105 consecutive months. How's that for a statistic? Uh, closed sales, as we can see, were down 9%. But that's an improvement over... Uh, Previous months where we had uh, declines of 15%, 18%, something like that even, uh, especially in the summer. Um, and new listings continue to be down. Uh, this is a, uh, a regional, actually it's a national problem. Um, <clears throat> uh, let me give you an example with numbers in Maryland. In 2015, we had 32,000 active listings. In 2019, we had, this is for the month of September, uh, 22,000 active listings. And in 2023, we had just 9,400. So this really exemplifies the problem with the shortage uh, that I've been mentioning for many months. There just are not enough homes for sale. Part of it is uh, people are not turning over. Also, there's a tremendous decrease in the homes being built because uh, many of our legislatures and towns have uh, rules that make it harder to build. Um, and um, so this is a real problem across the nation. We can see here that <clears throat> median days in market is 11. It's important to note that uh, still about half the homes on the market are sold within two weeks. Um, so this is a uh, still a pretty swift moving market, even though uh, the number of sales is down so dramatically. Um, the lack of inventory continues to be a major thing on the market, and um, home uh, mortgage rates are high, and that has an effect, of course, on the demand index. Um, we see that. Um, as rates peaked, uh, rates have been certainly falling. We expect them to be below seven by the end of the year. Uh, and this will increase the number of sellers, as I mentioned earlier. The median sales price uh, for the region is up almost 6%, 5.8%, uh, just about 4.4% uh, over last month, 58 over last year. Um, the only area that had a slight decrease in median sales price was DC proper. And uh, new pending sales uh, also, as we mentioned, have been down. Active listings, this is the big, big thing. Active inventory is down 12.4% compared to a year ago. Supply currently is just 60% of what it was in 2019. Uh, so um, this is going to make it really hard for any buyer. Um, this is one of the reasons why homes are selling so quickly. Showings are down. This is partly seasonal. November and December tend to be very slow months. Uh, also, with the peak in the interest rates at uh, 8%, um, that slowed down things quite a bit. We do anticipate as rates continue to drop that more buyers will come into the market and potentially we'll see a robust spring market. 
Home prices were up in uh, all local markets, with the exception of DC, as I said. The fastest price growth in the area was Arlington. Um, so, you know, I mean, one thing to keep in mind, regionally, DC continues to be a bargain. Um, <clears throat> and I can show you that here. I mean, okay, so the median price is high, but the growth in rate right now is low compared to like, look at Arlington County, right? Um, 21% growth in rate and median price at 720. Um, Loudoun County is 725. So um, DC continues to be the bargain. Um, we see regionally um, that uh, prices in our region are up 27% compared to where they were in 2019, but nationally prices are up 45% compared to where they were in 2019. In Baltimore, they're up 30%, and um, in Philadelphia, they're up uh, 27%. So uh, it's really, you know, Philadelphia is for also 45%. So <clears throat> regionally, we're in a good position. And uh, you can see here, new pendings in certain areas uh the hot spots tend to be uh arlington and um prince george's county and uh, actually washington dc did very well last month in terms of new pending sales um median days on market you can see that dc has uh, <clears throat> the highest days on market 25 so this means as for the buyer this is a, a great place to be looking you've got a little more time to uh, look around potentially uh, more ability to negotiate with the seller from the seller point of view uh, it does mean things are going to take a little longer it also means your home has to be positioned correctly uh, and staged well and and it'll really look nice so that it sells quickly and um, if you want to get it in that 50% sells in less than two weeks category. Um, <clears throat> months of supply has been tight for some time. Uh, we had a little bit of a bump over 1% in all uh, of our local markets, but you can see that uh, Alexandria and Fairfax County uh, have both dropped below one month of supply. So what this means is um, if there were no new listings that came on the market, how long would it take to sell the ones that are currently on the market? It would take them uh, 0.87 months, you know, less than a month to sell all the ones currently on the market. Um, so six months is a balanced market. Anything less than six months is a tight seller's market. <clears throat> so this is where we are in a seller's market. Having said that, it is an opportunity for some buyers to negotiate. Things are not selling quite so quickly. Uh, it is an opportunity to get the seller to help you with the seller credit, um, finance uh, some of a... Uh, maybe a uh, uh, home warranty, uh, maybe negotiate some more repairs or whatever, right? So uh, we're in a better position right now. And we do anticipate, again, as rates continue to drop, more and more buyers are coming into the market. And um, that means it's going to be more competitive and prices are going to be driven up. Um, showings <coughs> are down. Again, this is partly... Seasonal, November and December are kind of slow. And um, that's about it. So and I'm Taylor Johnson. Again, I'm here as a resource for you. I am with Keller Williams Capital Properties. I'm part of the N. Garcia team. If there's anything I can do to uh, answer questions for you, to provide resources for you, uh, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. Have a wonderful day. 
keep smiling. Thank you for your time. If you liked the video, please uh, click like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Bye now.